Bersha Coal Grinding Plant is put into operation by carrying out certain individual steps. Classifier commissioning, heated process gas flows through the mill and warms the entire plant in order to prevent condensation from forming. The rollers are raised up whilst the plant is being heated and before the grinding table is started up. The coal feed is switched on and the raw coal is delivered to the grinding table via the feeding chute. When the material feed is switched on, the grinding rollers are lowered and the comminution process starts. The grinding rollers roll over the coal, which is comminuted by the force of the hydro-pneumatic roller spring system. The rotation of the grinding table throws the coal outwards to the area of the louver ring, which surrounds the table, where it is dried by hot gases. The coal is then transported to the classifier. When the coal particles come into contact with the hot gas, the water evaporates spontaneously. Based on the particular setting, the classifier rejects coal that has been comminuted into pieces which are still too large. The coal then falls back to the grinding table where it is comminuted again. The product is conveyed past the classifier and exits the Lisha roller grinding mill in the gas flow. The following preconditions must be met before an inert coal grinding plant can be started up. Fill level of hoppers 2, 3 and 4 is above the minimum fill level. The inspection openings on the filter are closed. Paths for conveying dust have been activated. All auxiliary drives are switched on. Oil lubrication for gearbox, mill hydraulic system. And all system flaps must be set to closed, as shown at position 7 for example. The flat valves upstream of the mill and downstream of the filter, position 7, are opened. The process gas fan, position 9, is started up and operated with a minimum volume flow. The plant is inertized by feeding in nitrogen or carbon dioxide from the corresponding dispensing vessel, position 15. Inert gas is applied to the following units. Position 6, filter. Position 1, mill. Position 14, hot gas generator, and position 16, dust hopper. The gas analysis equipment is activated in order to determine the carbon monoxide and oxygen content of the process gas. The measuring points are found at position 1, upstream of the mill, downstream of the filter, position 6, position 6, in the filter, and position 16, in the dust hopper. The seal air fan, position 1A, is switched on. The sealing air at the grinding table seal, the grinding rollers, and the classifier drive is needed in order to prevent dust from accumulating in the bearings. The flap in the return gas duct, position 11A, and the stack flap, position 10A, for controlling the volume flow of exhaust gas, are moved to their start position. The volume flow of process gas is measured via a Venturi tube, position 8. This volume flow is regulated by means of the vane control, position 9. The volume flows of process gas within the system are regulated via suction pressure control. The controlled system consists of measuring the suction pressure before the mill and the regulating flap valve for the exhaust gas flow in the stack, position 10A. The set point on the pressure regulator, BIC, before the mill is usually set to a value of around minus 3 millibar. All the preconditions for starting up the mill have now been met. The hydraulic system is switched on and the gearbox with grinding table as well as the classifier drive are started up. The coal grinding plant runs as a self-inert system. The maximum oxygen content of damp process gas is set to 12% in accordance with safety regulations. These plants are usually operated at an oxygen content of between 8 and 10% with moist gas. The oxygen content of the process gas is precisely adjusted via the controlled feeding in of fresh air, position 13. The higher the oxygen content of the process gas, the lower the dew point temperature. The oxygen control QIC is activated. For process engineering reasons, 
low dew points are desirable in the process gas. This ensures there is a safe clearance between the operating temperature and the dew point temperature, thus preventing condensation from forming in the dry grinding system. The temperature control after the mill, TIC, is activated and set to a value of around 75 degrees Celsius. During operation, a temperature of 95 degrees Celsius will be adjusted downstream the mill. Whilst the entire plant is warming up, the carbon monoxide oxygen analyzers are switched on. The controlled systems at this time are pressure measurement upstream of the mill, PIC, measurement of process volume flow, FIC, and temperature measurement downstream of the mill, TIC, during operation. Inert gas is still being fed into the plant. The hot gas generator consists of a main burner for blast furnace gas, synthesizing gas, etc., with a coaxially integrated start burner for coke furnace or natural gas. The start burner fulfills various functions. It serves to warm up the combustion chamber muffles to temperatures of over 350 degrees Celsius and the entire plant to temperatures higher than 65 degrees Celsius. When these two preconditions are met, the main burner is enabled. At the same time, the volume flow of processed gas is set to 70% of the maximum value. The vacuum pressure after the mill continues to be regulated to a value of minus 3 millibar. In order for the coal feed and, as a result, grinding operation to be enabled, the temperature after the filter must be above 65 degrees Celsius, and the oxygen content must be lower than 12% with moist gas. Working pressure control is active, and the grinding rollers can be lowered. The material feed is set to the minimum throughput rate of 40%. All controllers and the associated controlled systems are set to automatic. TIC after mill, PIC before mill, FIC after filter, PDI mill differential pressure, QIC oxygen control after filter. The grinding plant is now performing self-inert grinding operation. Inert gases are no longer fed into the plant. For safety reasons, Inert gas is only applied to the fine coal silo for the whole time that the grinding plant is running. The coal grinding plant is shut down gradually according to a prescribed shutdown sequence. All carbon monoxide analysis equipment must remain active during a standstill. 